This is Bucky, one of the most controversial players that Fortnite has ever seen. He is talented. Oh my God! Crazy. And sometimes just plain toxic. I'm not a clear warrior, bro. Yes, you are, bro. You're horrendous, bro. You're horrendous, bro. You're horrendous. What's your best grand placement? Exactly. Oh, and by the way, I actually got to interview Bucky himself for this video. Yo, what's up, Timmy? And he's going to be answering questions that he's never been asked before. I've never told this to anyone. So stick around to see what Fortnite's most controversial player has to say for himself. Without further ado, this is the entire story of Bucky. Logan Eschenberg, also known as Bucky FPS, made his first earnings in Fortnite on March 31st of 2019 in the Lux Cup. At barely 15 years old, him and his duo placed fifth in NA East, which earned them $1,000 each. Although this isn't huge compared to what he would later go on to earn, this was really motivating for a young teenager like Bucky. And things were about to get a whole lot better. Because in June of 2019, Epic Games was set to host the Fortnite World Cup. This was a $30 million prize pool tournament, and all players would be flown out to New York City to play in person. Epic Games held 10 weeks of open qualifier matches, allowing players from all over the world to compete for their spot. And then in week five, Bucky placed seventh in the NA East solo finals, which secured him a spot in the massive New York City tournament. And perhaps even more exciting for Bucky, he had recorded the entire thing. You see, as much as Bucky wanted to be a professional gamer, perhaps even more so, he wanted to be a content creator and entertain people. So he posted a video called How My Dad Qualified Me for the World Cup. I got, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, I won 10 kills, let's go. Here, Bucky not only showcases his incredible skills to qualify for the World Cup, but also his down to earth and really kind personality. You, you just chill, play safe, just top 15. Like, it'll give you, it'll give you a shot to make in top six with just the, the placement points and the kills you got. As you could see from that awesome video, his dad was calling out enemies, helping him strategize, and even breaking down the tournament points. Considering most parents have no idea what Fortnite even is at this point, this was a super cool clip. So I had to ask Bucky how this came to be. Obviously, like one of the ways you first blew up was that video you posted with your dad coaching you to the World Cup qualifier. Yeah. I was just interested, like, was your dad a gamer? Like, did he know, like, what was going on? Or did he, like, learn about Fortnite just to, like, coach you? Or did he know yeah. coach you? Like, what was that all about? Yeah, so um, we didn't have that much, like, similar interest because, you know, he's older, not into video games, stuff like that. He really, really took, like, passion in Fortnite and started, like, hardcore learning about it. He would sit behind me during tournaments and stuff when I, li when I, uh, when I lived with them. And he got super, super into it, actually learned all the guns and everything like that my duo didn't qualify for the round two and i always liked having someone in the call just to keep myself like calm and everything so i texted mm -hmm. my dad and i was like if you know how to work discord hop on discord keep me calm while i'm playing and the rest is um history from there perhaps just as sweet was at the end of the video where you can hear bucky's mom come into the room and let's just say things got emotional hey, that's awesome. so come here <laughs> Baby! Happy Mother's Day. You're the best mom. I can't believe I did it. I feel like Oh my god. Oh my and speaking of heartwarming moments with moms, I actually have a message from my mom. Uh, hey guys, this is Timmy FNBR's mom. Please subscribe. Uh, thanks for the shout out, mom, but we gotta get back to the video. Bucky uploaded this video on May 15th of 2019 and it went viral. At the time, parents generally viewed video games as a waste of time and money. So seeing someone's parents support a kid's love for the game was almost unheard of and it was heartwarming to say the least. This video showcased a very different kid than the outgoing and sometimes cocky Bucky that we see today. And if you wanna see what happened that caused this big shift in personality from Bucky, you'll need to keep watching to the end of this video. Unfortunately for Bucky, he didn't do so well in the World Cup, 
and he placed 64th out of 100. However, this still earned him $50,000, which is not only a huge amount of money for anybody, let alone a 16-year-old. I asked Bucky what winning this kind of money at a young age felt like, and this is what he had to say. It was so life-changing because I was like, I was like broke, broke. You know what I mean? Like I really went all in with it. I took out my whole entire college fund. I invested in like a PC and everything like that. Shout out to my mom. Also, before we keep going, I do have to say thank you to Bucky for being so open and honest in this interview, because let's just say later on, it's going to get a lot more interesting. Dude, I've never told this to anyone. We're not the most likable people. The biggest regret of my entire Like that was by far like getting kicked off that flight. Take me back to when you and Creo got banned in 2020. Um, what actually happened? But for now, let's get back to the video. Following the World Cup, Bucky kept practicing to get better and better at Fortnite. He participated in every FNCS, Cash Cup, and other event possible. And in just 2019, Bucky made over $100,000 in total earnings. Unfortunately, however, this success would come to a screeching halt. That's because in March of 2020, Bucky was banned from Fortnite along with his duo partner Creo and another duo Slacks and Keys. The four players were accused of keeming by Twitter user Droxide. The video shows both duo teams working together during multiple games across different FNCS weeks. After Epic Games saw this evidence, all four players were banned for 60 days, which prohibited Bucky from playing in the rest of the FNCS Chapter 2 Season 2 duos. The reactions to Bucky's response were mixed. A lot of people, including Clicks, thought that Epic Games suspended him too fast and didn't give the four players enough time to defend themselves. But many other pro players and Twitter users were quick to say that cheating is cheating, even if he didn't do it on purpose. So I asked Bucky about the ban so we could hear in his own words what actually happened. After the, like, the four years that have gone by, would you have done the same things or how would you have acted differently? I think I was ahead of the meta. I think me and Creo were very ahead of the meta. We were creating the meta. We were in, you know, somewhere where you have infinite shield and it's the basically the biggest meta right now. And I think if you take someone like Booga or someone who did that back then, they'd be looked at as like, oh my God, this is so meta changing. But just because it was like four people who were like not even big names, Creo was pretty big at the time, but just like four people who were already under controversy with like Creo with the whole scamming thing with the Raven skin and everything. It's just like, if Booga did the same thing, the announcers would be like, oh my gosh, this is game changing, meta changing. I cannot believe Booga thought of this. And then we just got banned. So honestly, I 100% sure. would do it again. Whether or not you think Bucky and his duo were actually cheating is up to you. Comment down below what you guys think. Luckily, this ban was only for 60 days. And once that was lifted, he got right back onto the competitive Fortnite grind. Regardless of the negative attention that this ban brought for Bucky, he was still incredibly popular among other players and Fortnite fans. So, Bucky decided to keep grinding streaming and YouTube as well, and was uploading and streaming more than he ever had before. Things were going so well, in fact, that at just 16 years old, Bucky decided to move away from home and go to a house in Virginia with some fellow Fortnite pros in order to have zero ping while playing. Not long after moving to this Virginia house, however, Bucky would start playing trios with a player that would change the trajectory of his career, and his name was Clicks. On August 31st of 2021, it was made official. Bucky would be joining the NRG Fortnite team alongside other pros like his friend Clix and Ronaldo. And Bucky's stream announcing this was his most viewed stream ever to this point. He had a peak viewership of 23,000 viewers, which was massive. I mean, Bucky was living out his dream, getting to be a pro player and entertain his fans as a content creator. And from here, there was nowhere to go but up. Bucky just signed with one of the biggest esports teams in Fortnite. People were flocking to his Twitch to see what would the new member of NRG do next. Many people loved Bucky for his blunt sense of humor. He was loud and obnoxious, always screaming, and always had something to say. I'm not a great warrior, bro. Yes, you I'm are, bro. You're horrendous, bro. You're horrendous, bro. You're horrendous. What's your best grand placement? Oh my god, Cyro's dead! Where's my siphon? Huh? Oh my god! Hey, bro, I'm. Get out of here! Can't run from me! Mm -hmm. Daddy, she wants you. Come on, 200! Somerset wants me. Chief. Somerset has to want me after that. What I just did to Blake. 
But instead of taking advantage of all the hype that he gained from signing with NRG, Bucky stopped streaming consistently. From September 1st, 2021 to June 1st of 2022, Bucky would only stream 36 times. And this is what Bucky had to say about that. That is when I started getting off my grind a little bit, so it had its pros and cons. To be honest, it makes sense. I mean, you have to realize Bucky was a teenager at this time, living with some of his best friends and experiencing all these new things in life. I guess he just got a little bit tired of the grind and that let things slip away from him. Because of all of this and some other factors, in September of 2022, Bucky leaves the NRG house for good. He made an announcement on Twitter saying, leaving the NRG house today, don't know what the future holds. And then on November 28th of that same year, it's announced that Bucky will be leaving NRG as well forever. The announcement was made by way of NRG's alt Twitter account, not even their main account. Since Bucky never stated the exact reason for why he was dropped, people began to speculate. Some pointed out that NRG's 419 was slowly dying, and others blamed it on Bucky's controversial nature. However, Bucky did go live and talk a little bit about what happened with him being dropped. Fortunately, this morning I get a, uh, get a call from my manager, and uh, I get released from my contract. I'm a free agent now. I'm broke. I'm gonna have to uh, move out. I mean, I love living with Cody and all them, bro, but I just currently don't have the, uh, I don't have the funds. They didn't believe in me anymore, chap. It sucks, you know what I mean? It hurts, it hurts to say, it hurts to accept that, but it's the reality, man. I don't know where I'm gonna go. I can promise you guys it's not gonna be phased. I'm gonna make sure we find a good home, chap. With all the mystery surrounding these events, I had to ask, could you give us some more insight on what went down with NRG? And if NRG was listening to this video, what would you wanna say to them? Oh, so first of all, I love everyone at NRG. Um, Grady, Rye, all of them, they were the, the most amazing people. I've never been treated so well in the org while in the org, um, but everything really started to spiral bad. I don't know how much I can get to it on stream, but it was after the Andrew Tate stream that we did. Um, mm -hmm. That's when everything got really bad with energy and we weren't able to work with like a lot of sponsors and stuff. And then that's when you know they, they couldn't pay for the house anymore. So then we moved out of the house and everything. And I was getting into like more and more controversy on my own and they end up dropping like the whole entire roster and i was unfortunately the first to go you see bucky isn't like a lot of other creators he really does not care what others think about him and although going on a stream with one of the most controversial figures in the world is a very dangerous thing to do as a content creator bucky was never going to back down from an opportunity to make the craziest content in the world regardless of the official reasoning why he left nrg however bucky was now a free agent and after he left NRG, his content started to get even more wild. I feel like she's playing hard to get, bro. I got a message for you too, Deuce! But this left me with the question, is this the real Bucky? Or is this just some kind of made-up online persona? I would say, I, I don't want to start like dogging on like other streamers and stuff like that, but I would just say there is a lot, a lot of streamers that blow up off of like completely faking content and doing the most fake stuff on stream. I, I am like 100% authentic and real about what I put on stream, like all the relationships and any drama or anything like that. I'm like so like real about what I put on stream. The only thing that I do on stream is I um, exaggerate my personality so much like I'll down 20 months for getting on stream so I have high energy. I don't think any streams are entertaining when you're sitting there and like, you know, you're barely talking stuff like that, you have no energy. So I definitely take, take a lot of caffeine, a um, little bit of sugar too to like really get the energy levels up. But other than that, I was I'd, like, I've never done any fake stuff on stream. Like I do the most real, real shit on the planet. While all of his content stuff was going on, Bucky was also still competing at a very high level in competitive Fortnite. However, many of his haters would say that he wasn't good anymore. Bucky would admit himself that he stopped grinding, but that doesn't mean he couldn't qualify for the world's biggest tournaments. And at the start of the following year, Bucky would have an opportunity to show he was still one of the best in the game. On January 11th of 2023, Epic Games announced a huge new in-person FNCS tournament, the FNCS Global Championship which would take place in Copenhagen, Denmark. Bucky and his duo partner, Okus, decided that they were going to Copenhagen no matter what it takes. 
With the structure of this tournament, players had four different opportunities to qualify for the Global Championship. Major 1, Major 2, Major 3, and the Last Chance Major. And for the first two Majors, Bucky did not come close at all to qualifying. But in Major 3, Bucky and Okis clutched up, qualifying a spot to continue on to Copenhagen. This was a huge win for Bucky, and showed the Fortnite world that he was still a force to be reckoned with. Unfortunately, however, this high didn't last very long, because once Bucky arrived in Copenhagen, the company that was running the tournament Blast immediately disqualified him. To say this was shocking for Bucky and his fans would be an understatement. They didn't even tell Bucky why he was disqualified, but they made him immediately leave the country. At first, Bucky claimed that he thinks he was disqualified because he adjusted the vibrancy setting on his PC at the event. Other people thought that it could be because he said some weird things about a Blast employee on his stream. Like, there's this like black bur or no, she's a brunette, bro. She's just like this little, this little brunette, like epic employee, bro. And me, her, bro, we been. <laughs> I'm, I'm telling you, bro. I got. I got everything under control, bro. I'm making connections stuff, bro. And some people thought that he was acting inappropriately, like drinking and smoking in places where it wasn't allowed. However, he eventually learned that the official reason he got banned was because he broke section eight of the conduct code, no toxic behavior. This was very vague and Blast never clarified what exactly his toxic behavior actually was. Fortunately for us, however, I can just ask him. You know, I have to ask this. Uh, we are obviously going to talk a little bit about what happened in Copenhagen. I, I wasn't told the official statement until about a month ago when I got in, I got in a, like a really good epic contact. Would you be down to like share that with uh, with the YouTube world? Um, holy smokes. Yeah, I um, I was disqualified for you know, making inappropriate comments about Epic employees and women on stream. Unfortunately, Bucky's teammate Okus was left to compete in the Duos Global Championship as a solo. A, a year work of work, bro, the gone. And a year work of work, gone. It's a different I, I got it, I got it, bro. That's right! I got it. Make some more noise! Obviously, you and Okus are cool now, that's pretty obvious. Mm -hmm. But, like, did that, like, put a you know riff in your relationship did, was that like a difficult conversation for you to have with okus yeah i mean i think after copenhagen i don't think anything will ever be like the same i guess i think there's always like a little bit i don't think he has like resentment towards me he's just kind of like it's just always like something that i'll always just feel so bad like that i did to him um and just it's not been the same since copenhagen i would say we are like super super good friends but like i mean we were way closer you know before copenhagen for sure is that something that like you know, eats at you a little bit. I know it's the biggest regret of my entire Like that was by far like getting kicked off that flight. And my, my like they literally sent me out of the country in like two hours. And like I sat on a plane ride by myself. My phone was dead too. They just sent me to Chicago, not even straight back to Dallas. And I sat on a nine hour plane ride, staring at a wall for nine hours, just like, just thinking about everything. Like I, like it was, the thoughts that go through your head, it's just like, it, I felt like I was in like prison. Like imagine being in prison and just staring at a wall like, and just knowing you're just sitting in there and you're just Like that's just how I felt. It was the worst feeling on the entire planet. And then after that, like nothing ever felt the same because right after that, me and my girlfriend broke up and stuff. And then I had to go back to Michigan for like, you know, family issues. And it was the worst two months of my entire life. And the past five months have not been getting much better. So I'm really hoping for just a big breakthrough maybe a leprechaun comes and knocks on my door and you know gives me some great luck because i need i need something most recently for bucky on february 12th of 2024 he joined a new organization called agent gaming he joined agent at the same time as fellow pro player peterbot and they just moved into a massive mansion on zero ping in dallas what's next for bucky i want to focus on right now is um you know agent i just moved into the agent house and everything's kind of like getting started up right now with the org and we're really like trying to take things to the next level so i'm kind of focused on not only just like my content but like everyone in the house kind of like growing up to like together we want to start doing youtube vlogs all that different stuff and like really taking we want to transform content and make it bigger than what fortnite even was so we want to do so much like youtube and stuff and my biggest focus on agent and then i also want to obviously take my content next level i want to make sure i can get back into the you know fully streaming like eight hours a day get close to my community again over the summertime when everyone gets out of school and then really lock in on fortnite and i want to make sure that i just like 
build my community to where it's a point where like I really can do it for 10 years. That's like my biggest goal. There you have it, folks. Bucky FPS. In my opinion, one of, if not the most entertaining creators in Fortnite and beyond. And what's his secret? Well, from this video, we can tell it's just being himself. You can say what you want about Bucky and the ways that he's acted, but one thing you can't accuse him of is being fake. What I'm taking away from doing this interview, and what I hope you guys take away as well, is that no matter what circumstances happen around you, you can only control yourself and your own actions and be unapologetically you. If you have a good one, I Yeah, of course, you as well. Have a good one, chat, yeah. and Bucky, be, be good, guys. Be uh, safe. Bye-bye. Peace.